Hello everybody, Lusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom icons in Dead by Daylight. So first things first, you want to go ahead and go to this website that I've linked in the description. You don't have to go ahead and type over the URL. You can simply just go to the description of this video and then there should be a link right at the top. So yeah, this is the Dead by Daylight icon toolbox. You want to go ahead and go to the download section. And once you're at the download section, you can use either of these two links. So go ahead and click that, wait for it to download and then open it up. So now that that's done, go ahead and open it. So just like it says here on the website, Windows claims that it protected your PC from something. The reason why this happens is as follows. It's just because the developer didn't sign a Windows desktop application license. So don't worry, nothing's going on. Just click on more information and then click on run anyway. So it says there's a new update available, so let's just go ahead and click on yes. So now that it's fully installed, this is what you're supposed to be seeing. Here you can take a look at the content that's been featured this time around. So since there's only six packs that are around the featured section, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the all packs section. So here you can find all the icon packs that have been submitted to this tool. Um, not every single icon pack artist submitted their pack to this application. So there's not, it's not like there's going to be thousands of results, but with the results you get, and if you take a little time to browse, I'm sure you'll find a pack that is to your liking. I'm going to go ahead and just click this button so I can go back to the default icons. So that way I can actually go through the entire process of installing a pack and then, you know, testing it out. So I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go to install. Now here you can actually choose which components you want to install in a certain pack. So let's say that a custom icon pack offers you both perk icons, but also item icons, offering icons, killer power icons, etc. Then you can choose whichever ones you actually want to include in your installation. So let's say that I want to use two different packs. Uh, I want to use perks from pack number one, but I want to use the items from pack number two. And here I can turn off or turn on which components I want to have installed. So since I'm going to go back to the default icons, I'm just going to go ahead and confirm every component. And the installation is complete and I'm now back to default icons. Alright, so let's test it out and see if it actually worked. And now that the Daylight's launched, as you can see, everything is now returned to default. Alright, so let's just go ahead and close the game again because I'm pretty sure that you can only change your custom icon pack whenever the game's not launched. So make sure that you quit the game before you actually install one of these packs because otherwise it might cause some issues. So now that we know that it works, I think it's time to actually pick out a custom icon pack. The custom icon pack that I personally really like is called Neon Space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that into the search bar and as you can see, Neon Space by Flepsy is right there. So let's just go ahead and install it. And I do want every component that the pack has to offer, so I'm just going to leave them all ticked. And there we go. Alright, now that it's installed, let's just go ahead and launch the game again. And there we go. As you can see, my custom icon pack is installed. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. It's very straightforward and simple. You install the setup of the tool, you launch it, you choose the location of where you want it downloaded, and once it's done, you open it, install a pack, and uh, yeah, it does all the work for you. You launch the game and that's it. If this tutorial helped you, then be sure to give it a like so other people that might be interested can see it. And if you want to see more of my content, you're always free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, with that all being said, I'll see you in the next video.